Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download Quadras 13.1. So you have to search of Quadras 13.1. Then you have to click on Quadras 2 Software Download Center for FPGA Intel. Now you have to select your addition to 13.1 where it says release. You have to click on that and click 13.1. After selecting your addition, you have to choose your operating system. I'm going to choose Windows. Then click on Individual Files. Individual Files is going to take you there. Then you have to download the Quadras 2 software. So click on Download. After you click Download, this is going to pop up. So you have to click I Agree. When you click I agree, it's going to take you to this page where you have to sign in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, you have to click on the register button. After you register, you could sign in. After you sign in, you could download the software when you click on I agree. Now you can download Quartus 2 and you have to also download Model Sim. So you have to click on the Model Sim download. Then click I agree again. Then you have to choose a device. It's very necessary after you download Quartus. Then you have to choose a device. It's a family device, also called a support device, which you need after you download Quartus. First, you have to download Quartus, then Model Sin. Then you have to choose a device. You could choose any device you need. It could be Arira 2, Cyclone 2, Cyclone 3, 5, any one. So I'm going to choose Cyclone 3. So you have to click on that. That's it. This is how you download Quartus 13.1. So after you download all the devices you need, you could open your Quartus 2 software file. And when you open it, it's going to show you like you could allow it to make changes. You could put yes and then you could start your software and you could use it. That's it. This is how you um, download it. If you need further help, Click on the documentation links where you could get some help. Also, you could click on the software support where you could get some support for the software. If this video helps you, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more useful videos.